Welcome to the Sunday Rich. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in the fifth Sunday of the season of Lent. Unfortunately, we, in the complete sense, cannot attend the liturgical services of this season because of the coronavirus that is around. Yet, as we sit in our houses, we can reflect the seasonal readings that are given to us. Today's Gospel, we hear Lazarus is being raised back to life by Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, it was told to Jesus that Lazarus is sick. And yet, Jesus delays in reaching out to Lazarus. This delay was a surprise for me. Why did Jesus delay in reaching out to Lazarus? We always know whenever someone comes to Jesus and begs him, Lord, my child is sick, my servant is sick, he would immediately respond, let us go and heal that person. Here for the first time, Jesus delays. This delay has a reason. And we are told Jesus goes there only after four days. And through the delay, the Lord wants to make a very important point to us. He wants to teach us something very important. And that is the reason in today's gospel is placed during the season of Lent. And what is the message? When Jesus comes towards that village, Martha runs to him. And there is a discussion between Jesus and Martha. In that discussion, the Lord reveals the greatest truth of our life. That is, Jesus says, I am the life and the resurrection. Whoever believes in me will live life eternal. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. Jesus had a reason. He was in control of every situation. Whether he is alive or he is dead, the Lord could do anything. And so, precisely to make certain teachings open to us, the Lord delays. And in this delay, the greatest teaching that he tells us is that he is the life and he is the resurrection. Whoever believes in him, he will live and he will live forever. And also, my dear brothers and sisters, shortly now from hereafter, we enter into the Holy Week and then the passion of Jesus and the death and then the resurrection. So Jesus wants to tell us that he is the resurrection and he will be raised from the dead. And once he is raised from the dead, yes, we all live in hope. My dear brothers and sisters, as I reflect on today's gospel, the three things that come to my mind, those three things are the greatest virtues. They are charity, faith and hope. The first of all, the charity. Where do we find charity in today's gospel? The fact that Jesus comes and when he comes to know that Lazarus is dead and as he approaches him, we are told that Jesus wept. That means he had a great love for Lazarus and his sisters. He was moved with love and so his emotions could not be contained and there he wept. So it shows the greatest love that Jesus had for Lazarus. My dear brothers and sisters, the greatest thing in this world is nothing but love. And therefore, let us love. Let us show charity. In today's situation that we are in, how do we show the charity? We know all of us are confused. We are frightened. The virus has brought everyone into great fear and confusion. And yet, the charity that I talked is, let us be charitable to oneself by not moving about, by not socializing. Let us not get 
infected by the virus and let us do charity to ourselves let us not transmit the virus to another person to my own family members and by doing these let us be charitable to ourselves to myself and to my own family members let us remain at home let us try to rebuild our relationships with each other in our own homes and let us create the love there in our own families the second thing that i talk about from today's gospel is the faith when jesus was about to go to the tomb martha says lord it's already 4 days past the body must be stinking and that moment jesus says if you believe you will see the glory of god yes my dear brothers and sisters these days we need to have a very very strong faith in god and the faith that jesus talks about if you believe you will see the glory of god yes i believe that god wants to reveal to us his glory through today's circumstances and therefore let us not give up let us hold on to our faith that jesus is the savior that jesus is the healer through his blood through his wounds through his cross through his suffering and through his death we have healing and he will heal the world along with the faith in jesus we also need to have faith in government systems when the government insists certain things we need to cooperate with the government and the society otherwise our faith will be a blind faith our faith will be an empty faith because the faith demands our action faith demands our action and therefore let us have faith in god who can heal and he is in control he will heal also let us cooperate with our society and the third thing that i talk about from the gospel today is hope because lazarus was brought back to life the family of lazarus they had reason to rejoice and to be happy because their brother was brought back to life and so jesus death and resurrection brings hope to us nothing is over yes there is a panic all around but god is in control God is still in control and the fact that Jesus is risen and he is in control gives us hope we christians are the christians of hope let us not give up god is in control he is fighting the battle the battle belongs to the lord and jesus will be victorious on this virus and he will bring us once again the salvation from this virus let us the people of charity faith and hope